how's everyone doing? Um, I have another project today planned for us. These are the supplies you'll need. Um, we have had so much rain and we're going to have even more like all next week. So I thought we'd do this fun rainy day project. Um, so yeah, these are the supplies you'll need. Uh, watercolors, pencil, eraser, a cup of water, brushes, and then either a white, a blue, or a gray crayon. And I'll show you what we're going to use the crayons for later on. Okay, let's get started. So first we're going to draw this fun um, umbrella. And if you look over here, it takes up about half of the page. So halfway down on your paper, you're going to make a mark, and this will help you know that the umbrella is going to sit on top of that mark. That's going to be the bottom. So we'll use that as a guide, and then I'm just drawing a nice big circle, like the size of a softball. Okay, and now I'm just working on getting the circle a nice rounded shape so that it's even on all edges. Okay, that looks good. Now if you look at the circle, it's divided up into slices. And we're going to do that by putting a point in the middle. So there's our point. And now we're going to draw each of these slices of pizza, which are is what an umbrella is made up with. Because each of those triangles kind of round and create the umbrella. So I'm going to grab a ruler and you don't need to use a ruler, you can just draw it freehand if you want. I just had one right by me, so I decided to use it to get my lines nice and straight. So I'm, I drew one line down and another line across through that point to make a plus sign. And now I'm just going to go at an X shape, so go across and divide it up further so it's like a, a pie. Okay, I'm just making tick marks to make sure that each slice or section of the umbrella will be even. And then I'm going to draw a nice straight line. There we go. And then just repeat that and draw our last line. And there is our umbrella divided up into triangles. Okay, now I'm going to erase that point and draw in like a little bit of a bigger circle because that's kind of the, the top of the umbrella. So I just did a bigger circle there. And then each um, line there has these little points and then they kind of like scoop inwards. If you look at an umbrella, those points are what hold like the, the metal part of the umbrella which hold the fabric in its shape. So I'm drawing those little dots and I zoomed in here so you can see it better. But I drew a little dot at the end of the line and now I'm going to draw another one on this one. And then I'm going to take and draw a line and slightly curve it inwards. See that there? Then I'll go in and erase that line from the circle that we first drew. So there we go. And that's starting to look like an umbrella shape. Okay, so now I will go ahead and do that on the rest of my sections.
Okay, it's starting to look good. I'm almost all the way around the circle. I'm just going to go in and erase this line before I do the next curve. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and erase them all because after I kind of did the first few, I got the hang of it and didn't need that line of the circle anymore as my guide. So I'm just going to spin this around and keep drawing those slightly curved lines for the umbrella. Okay, that looks good. Now let's start drawing this um, little boy or little girl's raincoat. So we just see the bottom of the raincoat. So go to like the center of the bottom two sections of your umbrella. And that will help you make sure that you have your marks wide enough. And I'm going down to about my second knuckle on my finger. That's how long the line will be for my raincoat. And I'm going to draw a nice curved line here for the bottom of the coat. And the curved line will help your drawing look more realistic, like the person is wearing the raincoat and it's wrapped around their body so it has a nice curve to it. Okay, now let's do some shorts. You can either do shorts, or you could do a skirt, or pants, whatever you want to do. Um, but for this one, I'm going to do some little shorts here. And it's basically the same thing. I just went in a little bit underneath the raincoat, um, and then drew two lines down, another curved line across. And then I would just split that down the middle with another line which makes the two pant legs or short legs. Okay now I'll draw the legs so I'll again go in a little bit draw a line down. This line I'm going to make a little bit longer for the legs and I'll connect them and then draw that line down the middle to make up the line that splits your legs in half. And now we can draw these cute little rain boots. Okay, they just go down and curve at the bottom here for like the bottom of the boot. So I'll start by drawing, and I'm drawing the boot a little bit bigger than the legs because usually rain boots are a little big. And then I'm drawing it across here and down to make the back of the other boot. And then I'm going to draw a little band here for like the, the bottom sole of the boot. Okay, and then I'll go over to this side. And this side, this boot will be a little bit different because you see from this side the a little bit of the toe of the boot. So here I'll draw it out and down, kind of like a little hump there, and then just do the same thing, draw that little band for the sole of the boot. Let's add some little handles to the side of our boots. OK, 
Okay, I'll zoom you in here so you can see closer up. This is how I do the handles. I just do a little, like little rainbows. And then another rainbow inside. And then like a little tiny square. Okay, and then for the other one, we can't see the whole handle on the other boot because the legs are closed together. So I'm just going to do half of a handle on this side. Oh, and I forgot to do this little line that goes for the legs. And it that's just like a little line to sh like the back of your knees, how they bend. Um, I wanted to add a pocket on this one. So here I'm just drawing a pocket for the side of the coat. Okay. And, you know what, I, th I think maybe I want to move the pocket over and have it be like half of a pocket since you can, it's like the side of the coat. So here I'll move the pocket over. There, that looks good. Okay, so you can put pockets in if you want. You can put one or two. It's totally up to you. Okay, good job. The hardest part is done. It looks really good. Okay, let's draw the puddles. So I'm just going to draw, just draw a random shape of a puddle however you want it to look. They kind of have this wavy outline to them. And I'm going to do one over here and maybe one over here. There, that looks good. Okay, now I think on my first drawing I didn't have like a, a horizon line, but I think I'm going to add one on this drawing. So I'll take my ruler and line it up with the edge of the page and draw a straight line to show like that there's a horizon line. And I'm looking I'm standing on the ground and looking off into the distance, watching the rainy day. Okay, now I want you to grab those crayons that I was talking about. And I'm going to use a white crayon. Um, the white shows like up really well. If you see these little dashes, the wax of the crown acts as a resist through the, the paint. So if you feel confident in drawing with white, draw with white, but remember that you're not going to be able to see it very well on the white paper. So if you're a little bit nervous and want to draw with a gray or a light blue, then go for that. So I'm just lightly erasing my lines on the puddle, but not so much that I can't see them. And then I will trace over with the white crayon. So that way, because once you trace over with the white crayon, if you hadn't erased those lines, then you will see the pencil through. And if that doesn't bother you, then don't worry about it. But I just wanted the puddle, that white, to stand out brighter through the paint. So I decided to go and clean that up with the eraser. So here I'm going and following my puddle shape with my crayon all the way around here. And this is going to look really cool after we paint it.
if you look here at my first drawing, I made some like ripple lines to make it look like it's water. So just go in here and make some ripple lines in your puddles. It kind of helps the puddle look like it's reflective so you can tell that it's water. Okay, so I'm just adding those in. And then you can go in and add your raindrops. So just make little dots or dashes kind of randomly all over the paper and you will be surprised once you paint them when you see how they pop out. It's a really cool effect. Alright, now it's time to get started painting, so I'm just going to grab my paints here, and my brushes, and my cup of water, and um, you can paint your, um, your umbrella, your raincoat, or your boots, whatever color you want it to be. I'm going to do rainbow colors, because... I just think that lots of bright color on a rainy day is a lot of fun. So I will play some music here and you guys just have fun and paint and we'll come back at the end and see the finished product, okay?
Okay, so while I was waiting for my blue paint to dry, I decided to add some textures into the umbrella for it's just something different. So I'm going into each of those sections and adding either zigzags or swirls or polka dots or hearts. So do whatever you want, and I'm doing it with a white crayon, so after I paint it, it'll be a really fun texture that pops out. Okay. Did it? 
Okay, we have our painting done, and I've just let it dry, and I'm going to go in with this Sharpie pen. If you don't have a, a thin Sharpie, don't use a thick Sharpie. It needs to be a thin one, and if you don't have it, that's okay. Use a black pen or a sharp black colored pencil. Or if you don't want to, just don't worry about it and leave your drawing the way it is. But I'm just going to go in and add some finishing touches by outlining um, here with, with this black pen, okay? Now if you want to add some raindrops like I did here on the first drawing, you can just go in and draw them right on top. Now that your painting is dry, um, they should, it shouldn't be hard to draw these on top at all. So I just drew these in with the black pen and then after I got all the raindrops drawn in, then I colored them in with a blue colored pencil. Here we are. Here are our finished drawings. These were a lot of fun. I hope you had fun. It was a nice colorful thing to do on a day that you're stuck inside when it's raining. Um, so please send me yours. Have your parents um, send me a picture of your drawing. I can't wait to see it and see what colors you chose and what details you decided to do.